Who is the best Minecraft hardcore YouTuber? Who has the best things built in their world? One of the things that I love checking out is the massive transformation projects that hardcore YouTubers do. So we're going to check out five different YouTubers transformations of like the end portal or massive biome transforms and then see who did it best. And let me tell you, some of the finished products are, are very, very cool. Okay, phase one. Let's see who's first. A cookie god. Alrighty. I'm gonna fix this by transforming the end portal. Okay, so this is a pretty a so pretty good build look at first thing. Right there somewhere. But we have our first major problem. What the the you end know, feather falling is under the ocean. Yeah. Now that's satisfying. I need to get rid of all Okay, the yeah, it's a big draining water, project. So, uh, there we go. Look at his speed. I love it. I ran into my second problem. I'm sort of running out of sand and draining the ocean takes a lot of it. Yeah, I do have an idea on how to get a lot of sand. Very the thing is, uh, like when I've drained an ocean, I've I've gone down the way of like using like mach redstone machines to drain it in the end because it's just so so much faster. Um, I did because I did do like an ocean transformation thing. I mean, let's let's continue watching uh, how how a cookie god does but it. It's kind of questionable, so you're just gonna have to trust me. Okay, I built questionable. a sand duper. So let's go to the end. Oh, and... you see, sand duping is one of the things that I will never do. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say I'll never do it, but I've never done it so far because I'm like. Uh, it's kind of juvenile. Is it okay, isn't it? I don't know. I think it might get be, be getting patched out in a 1.20.2. I saw something, like a YouTube title about it. I haven't actually looked at it, but I, I think it might be getting patched. I'm not... I, don't quote me on that, but I don't think it's going to be around much longer. And now let's AFK and see if it works. And by the looks of it, the sand do... Oh, it looks so cool, though. Look at it. It's been 45 minutes and let's... How much sand? sand I go oh, wow. 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 I, but my fan, my, like, my viewers are always like, oh... Build a sand dune press, but you stop going to the desert and mining loads of sand. But I'm like, well, I just want to do it the. Uh, you can, you can trust you can get a lot of sand fast anyway. But I want to, I want to try and just do it by harvest in the desert <laughs> at the moment. Wow. That, that's a that lot is a lot of sand, though. That is a lot of sand. The sand to build the walls in the ocean. Man, a an ocean draining project is a big, big project, isn't it? Sponges to drain out all the water. And, Takes uh, so long. No problem. <laughs> I don't have. I'm pretty sure my first ocean monument draining took me like. Hundreds and hundreds of Minecraft days. I, obviously, I know more about Minecraft, so when I did the second time doing it, it was quicker, but first time, oh, it took forever. Any sponges. Well, I'm gonna have to compensate for that. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Let's go raid a bunch of ocean monuments. So today, we're gonna fix... Alright, we move on to Wumba now. So that's just the start of a cookie god. He's just on a big uh, sponge collecting spree. Let's see, Wumba... So is this is this the this preview of Wumba? Oh, wow, that's bodies, insane. An entire custom ocean, the deep dark. Oh, Pretty much every battle. Oh my gosh. And finally, and he could have lost his article well there. I think this is before the cherry blossom biome came out. Okay, so he's already and built. Okay, okay, I get this. So he's already built like the actual base for it. I think in the end, which is an epic build, and now he's building every biome inside of it. Okay, very cool. This whole wall with glass. Before we flood the place with water, I gotta terraform. All oh my goodness, that is a lot of terraforming. Oh he makes crazy big builds, doesn't he? Oh wow, look at this. So he's making a bit of an ocean-y kind of a that place, and then he'll four flood it. Hours, bruh. But it's all gonna be worth oh, it. Oh, look how cool it's looking though. This whole room with water. Now, what's the best way to do this? Honestly, ice is an option. The only problem is I think when you break yeah, it... Yeah, you need something yeah, below it. It doesn't turn into water. Uh, but that's not a big deal because I oh, guess can you melt what you could do is just melt the ice using something like campfires. I've never okay. seen anybody yeah, use yeah, campfires so to melt it. Why do you just use glowstone? And get a ton of this stuff. Okay. The progress is getting there. And He's getting it all nearly. on the bottom of every single block in here. Oh, wow. So, so yeah, he's flooding this area. I'm not entirely sure what biome he's building at the moment. I guess he's building yes, an ocean biome. the barrel dude, uh, the fisher. That oh, I didn't even know fisherman soul campfires. So, we're going to buy a bunch of these. Then let's That's interesting. Then start by placing them all under the ice. Is it not hard to remove them all, though? I guess not. This looks like such an annoying thing to have to at do, this but... Point, it's actually I'd probably use hard to breathe down here. glowstone, maybe. So I don't know. Let's get a conduit to fix that. Oh, a conduit. Good idea. I could just got water breathing. Ah, that's better. And there, this whole room has been flooded. It's kind of crazy that I'm still in the end dimension. So my don't feel like it. Okay. Currently has six. We move on to Ost. And in this video, I'm going to attempt to rebuild every single one. All the See, we're just kind of seeing the starts of everyone, just to see where they all begin, and then once we start seeing the end products, we can decide who has the best one. But we we've got to be there for the journey. So Ost. Uh. 
The good news is Il Mango has a design for water removers. Okay, he's doing he's doing a bit of drain. This is what I did. I didn't use Il Mango's news, design, I don't think. To but, drain the most yeah. water possible, the ocean floor needs to be flat, which it very much is not. Oh yeah, you've got to do some mining, bro. Oh, I like that and effect. For the sake of not needing to repair my tools every ten minutes, I'm going to make a lot of pickaxes. Wow. How many? Whoa, how many? Bit of ambulin. These things should last me forever, though, as long as I don't break any. And that's 25% of the square flattened. This is gonna take a while. So <laughs> I love the eyes effect. Oh, here we go. EZYs. So we've seen the start. We've seen the start of three of them. Now let's see EZYs beginning. He's, he's wow. Okay, he's built a pretty crazy machine. That as a, a world machine. I think he's doing a big um, a big biome transfer. I think EZY released a poster for this as well. Yeah, he did. Look at it. It's a pretty epic looking thing. You know, I'll link it in the description just in case you want to get it, you know, help him out a bit. But it's, yeah, I, I think it's it's cool. I'm kind of cool. To, I'm looking forward to see how it looks in Minecraft. I think it's a big end portal biome transformation. Nice. Especially when you consider it looks like this at the start. Anyway, let's 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 see how it progresses. Big hole in the ground, but would you believe it? I'm not going to slice it up like a pie. Instead, he's not going to slice it up. Slice it up like a I don't know if there's a food that gets sliced. In rings, yeah, okay. In rings, I'm gonna put biomes. Who would have thunk it? Crimson forest, cherry grove, and even deep dark. Okay. I always like a, a deep dark recreation biome. It's a cool looking biome. All right, so I marked the rings in obsidian because I'm gonna be building some TNT machines. Ah, good idea. Then they don't, then they're not in the way, yeah. Here we go. The TNT world eaters. I'll just send it over to see if it actually works. Will it work? Well, that seems <laughs> to be working quite Bit of a nuke. Did I line this up right? Let's see. Here we go. So. Will it send it back? Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Perfect. All right, we'll turn this one off. That has already done a fairly decent job. So I guess he just got him going back and That's forward. I have ones that like move every every time. They're a little bit more complicated than these. How this goes. Turn all They're going to end up destroying themselves. Nice. <laughs> oh, look at this. It is working. We're going to go all the way over here. Oh, wait. Hang on. I need to... Oh, no. This. Is one of them broken? One of them is broken. The thing is the TNT oh. cell. I told you. I know what these are like because they're quite low down. This one's also stopped over here. Like if the yeah, TNT like hit each other. So that's what a 60% success rate. <laughs> Not All the right, best. <laughs> let's get to building the rest of them. I rebuilt every mine. Oh, and now biome. we move on to Not Not Brock, who I think he builds them all underground. All the biomes. So this is going to be, this is going to be interesting because it's going to be a little bit of a different design. But yeah, I don't know if he was the first person to rebuild everybody. I don't think he was, but he might have been. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what he has to say. Minecraft hardcore. And you're probably wondering why. Well, you see, this is my base. It's called the Undergrove because it extends way into the ground and kind of looks like this is a cool. tree. But just like me trying to explain to my grandmother that doing YouTube actually is my job, it doesn't make <laughs> sense to base an entire mega build off of a tree. And while this is definitely a good start, I think the idea... Ah, oh, so this is his base and it's going to be all biome themed. ...massive underground museum is really cool. There are four main mountain types in Minecraft, but that didn't matter right now. All I knew was that I had to clear out a massive room large enough to build four mountains and make it look at least semi <laughs> It's got to be a it's got to be a big uh, big room then for four mountains. They said it'll be fun they said. I didn't want the train to I do like the cool the cool aspects of this mega base. I'm always a big believer of building mega bases underground. So you don't have to do the exteriors. And after seeing these two derpy triangles just sitting there, it really set in how large this room was going to have to be to make it <laughs> When you realize that the mountains are just too too uh, small. So I think we'll go ahead and build a spruce pathway through these imaginary mountains here. And then once the pathway is in, we can go ahead and kind of shape the mountains around it. I'll tell you what, this was a good idea. Because once I had the central pathway put in, I could carve out and build the terrain around it, which would help give me a true sense of scale. And after shaping out more of the terrain, I was ready to continue shaping and filling in the mountain peaks. Things so now it's starting to look big enough for some cool like mountains. And I like the way there's a pathway going right, through the museum as well. Uh, looked at that. Okay, yeah, this is good, but they're a little bit too samey right now. They're all the same height, and that's not yeah. They all look very so similar, don't they? The ceiling I went, raising things up by a few blocks and adding in a more natural shape. Now I could finally raise the height so that each oh, mountain is cool. taller and larger. There's a lot of mining to be done, though, isn't there? I love the replay thing. All right, we're on to phase two. We're back to Cookie God. So we've seen the starts of all five YouTubers of how it begins. Now 
We are going to, uh, I guess, start to see the building phase in phase two. Let's uh, let's have a what watch. What the end portal looked like at the beginning of the video. This is what it looks like now. Yeah, oh wow! The end of the video. When okay, I'm we've 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 got some we've got some serious progress. He seems to have marked out the area. I guess it's time for for a bit of biome building. The biomes built and the transfer of end portal. It's gonna look pretty insane. And let's start it simple by building a plains biome like right over here, and then we can move to like a jungle, a nether, a snow, and so on and so forth. Okay, so, so he's got a plan. The lush biome. So I know if you build me lush blocks, it will go to dirt right or would it go upward so if i put dirt i bet it does you know i bet it does kind of high and i bomb you would it oh yeah it does oh my god it actually works <laughs> he's surprised yeah yeah so we're kind of i mean obviously we haven't got time to react to the entirety of every single video so it's, it's coming through but this is the the lush biome i think he's already done his jungle one over there which we'll kind of get to see a bit more in depth i think he's done his planes but yeah let's continue And I want to try to make it look like it's wrapping around these. Oh, pillars, I like that. And also, kind of drooping over. Yeah, yeah, because it's like it's like coming out a little bit. That's really up, cool. I think we should build a simple desert bomb, even though it's gonna blend in very. Okay. Oh, he's done a lot of them actually. So let's see, uh, see this desert. Right I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product. I think it's a cool one. Cactuses. So I'm guessing this biome will be pretty boring and simple since it's kind of a desert. I mean, there's not much to a desert. But I'll try my best. You never know. He'll. Be, I reckon. You, I reckon Cookie can spruce there. it up. I like the way that it's got endstone at the bottom the as well. Yeah, yeah, put a put a put a little desert temple in there. And oh, that looks cool. Desert biome. All eight biomes are complete. So next, so we've got all these eight biomes. We're gonna get to properly see the finished product at the end when we've you know seen what everyone else has gone through a little bit. We're gonna do all of the end biomes, and that's going to require a lot of black concrete. Okay. He's voiding up his wumba. Now we have to do this four more times. Oh, he's doing the end biomes, is it? Is that what he said? I didn't know there was end biomes. The end midlands. Oh, there's actually end multiple ends. Really? I didn't. I did not know there was multiple end biomes. This is well interesting. Now we can start on the nether wastes biome with a simple. Was there only two? I think there was only two, wasn't there? Anyway, um, the, the nether waste. Let's begin. The nether has a quite a few in it, doesn't it? Kind of just terraform these walls to look a little better. Some ores. Yes. Oh yeah, that's it. You can add a few things to the nether to make it interesting. I, I think it's done well. Waterfall from the roof. I love well. the way that it's like goes by and by by, but they're all connected. Bit of a basalt delta. Also some magma and maybe some blackstone to add. Some Get some lava water. in there as well. Come yeah, on. That floor yeah, that looks good. Really nice. Now I also kind of want to add a nether fortress there in the wall to give it some more depth. Yeah, just a little bit of extra. Oh, I like the look of this. What you think about that? I like the way the end gateway is still there. Now check off the birch. Dark, flower, taiga, big taiga, bigger taiga, snowy taiga, windswept, and wow. normal forest biome. He's getting there with oh, him. Wait, I almost forgot the old growth birch forest. I like the way the okay. trees coming One through question. the pathway there. Why? Why does this biome exist? So they can find trail ruins in it, right, guys? That's that's what I, where I always go, the old growth birch, birch forest. It's cool. Who, why, maybe you want longer birch trees, more birch wood, you know? Certain YouTubers hate birch, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I we'll see. I also finished the jungle, bamboo jungle, and the sparse jungle. The ice spikes, the mushroom field, Oh, yes. Shore, He's just shore, knocking them off so plains, fast. Snowy beach, frozen river, and the unfrozen river. I think this might be the best one. I don't know yet, because I haven't fully seen all the others, but I, I really do think this this might be the best the best one of the lot. That's just a normal river. Then the windswept gravelly hills, the grove, meadow, the swamp, plains, sunflower this plains. This is very, very finally, thorough. All four mountain biomes. <gasps> I almost passed out saying all of that. <laughs> he took it, he said it without taking a breath. Alrighty, so we move on now back to Ost. That actually looks really good. I, th I think also is going to be pretty good as well, though. Because I like the way that... Because some of them... Some of them have way bigger biomes than... Like, obviously, like, Wombas are all pretty small. Cookies are, like, big, but, like, going downwards. Um, Ors doesn't, like, big ones like this. You know what I mean? So they're all kind of... They're all kind of different. And I like... Like, he's put a village in his. So it, it all gives you a different thing. Oh, this is going to be massive. Oh, so he's, like, he's like putting multiple biomes together. And decided to oh, I like this. this ruined nether portal to our flower forest. So that's one more structure completed. Oh, I like the idea of putting a room pot. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? This is very cool as well, though. Birch saplings on pillars of birch wood, which was pretty big brain, if you ask me. That's clever to make. That is very clever. You want to make the uh, the old growth birch? Just grow a birch on top of uh, the slightly higher up and place them underneath. Complete, it was time to do the mountains for this section, which were the meadow and stony peaks. Oh, so he's doing like all the biomes, but he's merging them together. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. And like, I was in each section there. There's more for draining, building custom mountains. Is like, oh, custom mountains. mountains I, they look well hard to build. Hours alone. Wow. While to I'm get it right, you have to just keep starting again and again. Cool <laughs> the grass was just slow. That was satisfying. And through the birch forest. 
forming our river biome. Oh, nice. So you've got a river and going through it as well. The frozen river biome in section two. Ah, and it connects to up. And this is going to be like the snowy section. Flowers to the meadow biome and then begin working on our first ocean. Okay. Which oh, so it's like gets biome. closer to the ocean. I like the way it's all divided up. A little That's monument in there. Monumental success. The end is yes. the only dimension <laughs> that doesn't have naturally generating liquid. So it wouldn't make sense to add an ocean biome in this section. Okay. Instead, I wanted to mimic the void. The resources gathered, I had everything. Oh, I'm curious to see how he does the void. I began lining the edge of the snow biome and the whole back wall with a layer of black concrete. So wait, so is this ah yeah, and this is like the I void bit, right? On the void. First adding the small end islands biome, and then creating the end barrens, which is basically like the edge of an end island. With those complete, I added all the black stone. So is that, some, is that a biome then? The oh, oh, the glass it's effect. A fairly convincing. Void. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then it was time to work. Yeah, that, look, that does look like the void. The only problem is that like, the color of it is very black, and the void is obviously a little bit purple. But I don't know if you, with the colors in Minecraft you could do it. Maybe if it was obsidian in the bottom, it could. Work. I don't know. Just throwing ideas out there. And biomes. So I filled in all the end stone, trying my best to replicate the terrain of the end. So I wanted to build yeah, many obsidian pillars surrounding the end podium. That could be cool. Deep slate for the podium, since it's the closest. Ah, uh, it's fake. To bed <laughs> yeah, I agree. Concrete oh, from here, I would believe. If you said to me that's a bedrock portal, I believe you. I love the little tiny, <laughs> tiny pillars as well. I think that's cool. For the obsidian pillars, which turned out pretty good. After a quick trip to the Nether, I was able to. I get your end crystals, crystals down as well. Nice. The pillars. Oh, and they just even and done the little um some... cages. I like the way it's mini cages. I think that makes a lot of sense Iron as well. to two of them, which brought the whole thing together. Let's yeah, begin. that's cool. Oh, and we're on to EZYs now. Oh, He's made wow. good progress. He's building his nether, so this middle good. nether section. Really annoying. It's got a bit of deep dark coming into it as well now. This is just satisfying to watch, isn't it? It goes sure to the music. Do it all out of skulk or else that's gonna look stupid. Yeah, yeah, he needs to mix. Oh, adding the actual skulk oh, vein, that brings... Yeah, okay, yes. Add some skulk vein all over the place. This is a cool build. I'd be very happy if I built this. Also sprinkle some ores in. Like, Good idea. Uh, just hide that real quick. No, you, you saw nothing. <laughs> you saw ore, Oh, I want to say what's underneath that. In uh, diamond form because, you know, we are balling. Look at that. Oh, a little bit of a deep, dark uh, ancient ruin. As, uh, yeah, ruin. Yeah, ancient ruin. Ancient city. That's what I meant. <laughs> I was trying to think what it was. And now he's adding his lush bit after that. What's he doing? Is this just to make it look more terrainy? Oh, there's is, is, is right, cherry stuff in it. Oh, nice. Now we've got this area looking really colorful. So he's used a lot of moss, but he's like cherry. It's like a cherry biome with moss blocks as well. That's pretty cool. Finally, now we're back to not not brock. Materials for my favorite biome in the game, the dark oak forest. It's his favorite, is it? Simple here. I wanted to build up the tree trunks along the outside of the biome, and then have the oh, I think that's a good idea. The middle, as if they were some sort of a roof over top. Oh, I think that's cool. So like the trees of the roof kind of thing, but uses moss as a leaf. I think that works well. So it's like you're walking through the dark oak trees. And a bit of water in there. Sugar cane. Oh, yes. Oh, it's all coming together. Oh, is this meant to be a swampy bit? Going through to build various custom jungle trees with vines hanging down. I went through with the melons and the bamboo for some details. It really brings it together, doesn't it? Once he starts kind of. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. Oh, wow, that looks good. To ruin the beautiful lush green vibe that I worked so hard to build, then to place in a bunch of ugly mycelium with my next bio. This looks pretty ugly, but then again, I think with the mushrooms it looks nice. So let me know if you have a fix for this. Okay, he's got like some custom-sized mushrooms as well. Now, there's nothing really special here. It's literally just a few layers of sand surrounding a body of water. I think that's good. Okay, so that was phase three. Updates of what, what they're all working on. Now, this is kind of where we get to see pretty much the, the final process. This is where we can start, you know, reviewing it and seeing who is the best, okay? So I think it's Cookie God first. Now let's let's have a look. Start transforming this end portal. My idea okay, is the end portal like itself a needs a bit of a transformation, the okay? The end portal frame and have some glass making it look super cool. It doesn't sound that cool, but you're gonna have to trust me. It's gonna look amazing. So now we'll, let's we'll see. I'll break. be the judge of that, Cookie. Okay, and now let's make okay, it thicker. Cool. Nice little ring around. Right in the middle, I want to add a couple layers of glass, which means I need to bring this down a couple of blocks. Let's build another circle at the bottom. Okay, you know what? I, I can start to say this this Let's could look very good. Glass in. I got oh, is it the, the, uh, the misty the effect glass? I can't wait. Misty is not the word I'm looking so for, but you know what I mean. Looks. Let's put down the first layer, and my plan is to put a second layer on top of it that's pink, and then sandwich it with another Yeah, yeah, and then, it, and then it will look, look it'll down, give it that... Um, it looks kind of cool. It's like faded. Yeah, a faded effect, whatever. I 
can't think what it's called, but I know what it's okay, called. This is taking a little too long. Let's fly up here and we'll bam. Yeah, that there required we go. a lot of glass. I think it was <laughs> worth it because look how cool Oh, looks. yes. And last but not least, I want to add a nice little... Foggy effect. That's what it is. It's like a foggy effect, isn't it? Yes. Transition <laughs> from the outside of the entire ring to the ocean. Okay. I was just going to use glass again. The glass usage is clever. And the like blue the stained glass is done. Now let's switch the cyan. Oh, nice and it changes transition. the colors up as well. That's good. I like the look of that. All right, that is the cyan all complete all the way around. And now for the this final is the favorite bit of the, the video actually glass. for me because when I start to see everyone's finished products come together. And we're done. Wow. That is the end portal. Oh yes. Transformed. With okay. Eight unique it's cool. On every it's very cool. I'm just gonna go back a little glass. bit. Just rewind. I want to see that top down view again. Okay. I have to just watch him play some glass done. for five seconds. Look at this. Very, very good build. I like it. I, I, I'm not going to review it out of 10 because I, I feel like I'm going to find it hard to do them. But I will rank them. No, I don't know if I'll rank them. I'm, I'll just say which one I, is my favourite. Okay, but this is this is very good. It's up there. Could be a winner. Let's, let's see. I think Wombas is next. Let's check out Wombas. On every single side, but look at this. Giant circle in the Pretty cool build. Ocean. We've completed every single biome Minecraft So he's got has, all the biomes around. Spots to fill in, and these are going to be for the custom Oh, biomes. he does some custom the ones. Okay, cool. The custom biome we're going to make is the geode. Geodes usually have a lot of smooth basalt, which we... Okay, so he's going to make a biome out of a geode. The amethyst blocks. That's cool. Great. That's, That's just satisfying, guys, all right? I, I don't want to comment over that, but when it's going to the music as he's doing stuff, it's it's just very, very cool. Yeah. Right here, Two more custom biomes to go. Classic, a pizza biome. A pizza Here's biome, yes. Pizza. I like that's that idea. I think that's a really clever idea. Cheese. It's a good build. I wish I was this good at build and crave. I don't need to tell you what this is. Finally, let's just put the crust on our pizza. It's not pineapple, is it? It better not be. <laughs> no pineapple on pizza. One final biome. Here we go. This is the new 1.20 cherry blossom biome. This okay, cool, cool. Really good. Oh, this it works well. This ground, almost looks we better like than the cherry water blossom pool. biome and then itself. I could put a pink axolotl in here so it matches the biome. Oh, nice. Finally, we just need to add some flowers. This is good because you don't have any of the cherry is. actual the things. Final block. It's done. Let's see it. Oh, look at this. There's the pizza biome. <laughs> oh, there's a charge creeper in there. Cool. Thing is, we couldn't check out every single thing, so there's bits we missed, but wow, these are cool. I will link all these down in the description if you want to see the full videos, by the way. This is the view. That looks very, very cool indeed. There's so many biomes in there. So much going on. I, th I think... I think all the biomes just around the outside. I think on the inside bit is that where it has all the mobs. It's such a cool build. I might... I might have to say that this ranks higher than Cookie Gods for me at the moment. I think so. I think so. I really, really like the look of this. It is a very cool build. In complete with axolotls. Oh, okay. Well, when you show it like that, it's ridiculously good. <laughs> wow. That's insane. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on to Aust. He's cracking on with his Mesa stuff. That's the Eroded Badlands done. And also knows the Eroded Badlands. Around, which still needs some work. But I want to get started on the mountains. Okay, so yeah, he's, he's kind of started his savannah and these trees and stuff, but wooded let's get those. Oh, okay. And regular badlands. I like the way now they the connect details. to each other. Yeah, look at that. And time to a little bit a of a spillover. Badlands. Grass. Using birch leaves again for that darker look. Ah, he uses different leaves to give I'm it a, to like the, the right look. Coast right here. Oh, nice. I like that idea. Yeah, that's that's clever because. The acacia, the savannah biome, it needed something else to bring it together, and he's gone and put up an outpost in that. I like the use of struct building structures in it. I think that's really clever. And then a mine shaft over in the Badlands. Yeah, yeah, because you see, but you see mine shafts, like exposed mine shafts in Badlands. So that's perfect. Fake cave spider spawner and some cobbles. That's clever. From abandoned village. From a, from, a, from a distance, it might look like it. Let's see. You get your cobwebs. And... Get them down. Does it work? Yeah. I think I think that will work well. And now he's just doing that middle bit. Mycelium. Is it, are the mushrooms, the mushrooms in the middles? Get their mushrooms down. Grow them up. Oh, that's nice. That's the mushroom island complete. But there's still one more structure left. One that's more structure? I'm going to build a stronghold themed gateway here. And okay, that's yeah. cool. So, because yeah, it's all around the end pole. So, yeah, it's, it's a cool gateway. And then he's just... Ah, he's making it spill out as well. That's, that's nice. Let's see. Oh, it looks cool. So I love the use of the custom structures. And then... Every single biome. In we go. That was a really cool effect as well. The way he made it look like the portal was through that. 
This is a cool. This is a cool build as well. I do like it. 400 Minecraft days, 132 hours of footage. That is, I think it was inspired by, uh, not not Brock, but that was that was pretty cool indeed. For me, I think I'm still gonna put Wombas above. I think. I don't know. Ah, oh, they might be level. They might be level. They're very cool. Let's see what EZY's got to, uh, to offer. Missing. One of them is this place being tidied up around the outside. Yeah, oh, the inside starting to look good, though. The inside starting to look good. The middle's missing a bit as well, isn't it? So, there we go. Okay, and that looks nice with the amethyst, nice and amethyst it's all terraformed in. That's cool. An outline, which I do think adds to the whole build. But That's that cool. area down there looks atrocious, so let's fix it. This is the end portal. Up here is the nether. You would think yeah, I need yeah. to build the end. I like right? the bastion so, thing around the outside. But my end dimension is a big ocean. So oh, okay. I to build a little mini ocean. I remember that video. So is it, what's he doing? Uh, like a mini o end ocean. Oh, that's clever. And there we he's have it. Oh, he's recreated. He transformed the end into an ocean and then put the end ocean by the portal. Very clever. Ocean, I like it. It's almost a replica of my end island. So the project is finished. That's wow. cool. Wow. That is a cool, uh, cool one as well. I like it. I like it. I still, I think Wumba might still be my number one. Again, I need, I need to work that out between Austin and Wumba. But EZ wise. Really like oh, it as project well. Project is finished. This is definitely one of the. Oh, wait, I can dive into the water. Here we go. I, I'm not nice. sure how this. Oh, he's got a clownfish down here. Oh, this fish in there as well. Definitely one nice of the touch. Things I've done in this world. It's very cool. It's a cool build. Look at this. When you're actually in it, you wow. must feel it's like, oh, it's amazing. I got to work digging and shaping out a massive tall room where I plan to build a lush cave. Going through and adding multiple different levels for You see, not no, Brock's done it in a different way where it's all underground. I do like that as well, though. vibe you get when you actually walk in one of these caves. Going oh, so you're like above it. The clay, oh, moss, yes. And plant life. This place was looking really cool. And the best part about it, oh, which honestly wow. I didn't even plan, was that it led up directly into our final biome, a dripstone cave. Oh, that works so well. That all I had to do was seal off various bits and pieces of it to enclose the biome, and then go back through adding more dripstone to really capture the vibe here. And finally, I noticed that my coordinates here were pretty close to the entrance of the museum, so I started digging a tunnel and found myself right next to the snowy tiger. Oh, so it just so goes in a big loop. Out this tunnel some more, I built a small wooden doorway through here to serve as yet another way to go through this museum. And there we go, my friends. All of the biomes have officially Nice. Been. I like that. I like this that room. such a grind. Honestly, like, I haven't been on Twitter in at least seven whole days. What's even going on in the world? I have no idea. Oh, uh... It built every single bio. ...is out now. Wait a second. The wild update. What, what is this wild update? Wild update is finally here. Yada, yada, yada. Once you install it, yada, yada, yada. Your game will feature two new biomes. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. Guess he had a few biomes left to do. <laughs> you need to do. So that must be just been the one point before one time point point nineteen. I, I liked his as well. I think it was different. I liked the way it was the museum. It's hard to compare it to the other ones exactly because they all did like big transformation circles and then he did that. So um, I, I'm almost not going to compare it, but it's very very cool build and, and and I really liked it. I think I think I think Wombats was my favourite. I, I do. I, I think Orso was very very close second. Maybe even just as good. I, I really find it hard to say, but. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys. Oh, well, oh, let me know what yours' favorite was as well, guys. But yeah, see you in the next video.